Calyx rigidus and big toe arthritis is a huge spur of uneven bone that builds up that prevents your big toe from bending up. So normal toe, no bump, arthritis or hallux rigidus. That's what it looks like. So x-ray, that's what it looks like right there. This is a bunion. This is completely different. This is your big toe buckling in, not on top right here. So two separate things. So next thing is this is a bunion an angle through here is a bunion soft tissue over the side is a bunion this is a bunion this is also a really bad bunion and almost dislocating so how do you cure these things there's a lot of videos out there that are really misleading people salt does not solve this thing it's bone look at the pictures it's not salt it's not swelling uh people are taking advantage of you by posting videos like this obviously getting as healthy as possible will solve literally any health condition or at least help it maybe not solve it completely but I cannot make this clearly enough. That is a given. Getting as healthy as possible and losing weight will make you feel better in almost every single medical condition. Uh, so I'm not going to state the obvious. Also, simple things like not smoking, that kind of thing, will make you feel better not, no matter what. But this is not a salt problem. I cannot make that clear enough. This is a bone problem. So fancy stuff like this. Uh, while it's nice and people hope that it works, it does not work. It is proven not to work. That is for bunions. It is not for hallux rigidus or arthritis. This type of stuff can work really well. Uh, if you have a bump on top that's rubbing against your shoe, stuff like this can help really well. It's uh, simple mechanics. You're simply covering it. You're preventing rubbing. You're preventing a blister between the bone. Taping like this can help. See, it prevents the big toe from bending up, but do you really want to go through this all the time? It doesn't make a ton of sense every single time, maybe for a sports game here or there. But this is what really works. Rigid pads, rigid inserts, your big toe goes over this, and the rigid pad underneath it simply prevents it from bending upward. So putting this in your shoe can really work. This is one thing that really works for arthritis while avoiding surgery. So you can see here, it prevents the big toe from bending up and jamming this bone and causing you tremendous pain. So the next thing is surgery. You can simply remove this bump and you can see now the toe can bend up. So this is what it looks, excuse the kind of gross image right here, but this is what a bump looks like. Obviously not the same foot, two different feet, but this is what a bump looks like before. This is what a bump looks like afterwards being removed. You can also fuse the joint. So this is a strong option as well. It pretty much guarantees if it goes well that you don't need future surgery or procedures, but it is more of an investment time-wise and you're not gonna have motion through your joint, but excellent procedure otherwise. And you can see bump to no bump. So spur removed. Implants, I would not recommend these. The the studies on these show while they can work well in the right person if these don't work you're left with a huge hole in your bone and you're 10 times worse than you started mm -hmm. then after a surgical process like that you're generally healing in a boot or a shoe like this for about three to four weeks with the with just shaving the bump it's closer to about two weeks but with a bigger fusion surgery it could be four to six weeks orthotics are really the key you can see with your foot bending out this way your toe is going to jam as you go to push off uh, it gets pretty complex so i won't go into the details but you can see this is really the goal of orthotics as you're standing and as you're pushing off great shoes between great shoes and orthotics we can get over 50 to even i would say up to 75 percent people better without surgery this is all they need especially people on their feet all day stretching exercises as time goes on as you start getting used to the uh, exercise you have to get your body loose and then obviously this is a given ignore the salt fads nonsense like that that's on youtube and other places but getting as healthy as possible that is a given if you drop 30 pounds your foot is going to feel much much better if this helped you at all please visit our website where you can get even more information and if this video did help uh, give it a like and a share and we'll see you soon this is michiganfootdoctors.com